to today's captain's blog. It is March 6, 2014, Thursday at 13.04 hours, and we've got you. Now this is a particularly awesome viewer mail. You'll notice there's a lot of these boxes. We did a fundraiser a while back on the live stream with all the guys hanging out at irc.thegeekgroup.org. Still with a dull blade because Batman doesn't love me. I got my artifact back. I've got to order that. I don't want to hear it. I want to use my mind. No, you failed me. And that's what it is. Okay. So we did a fundraiser to get new lights for the boardroom. We raised, I think, 250 bucks, give or take. And then, being the benevolent, iron fisted dictator that I am, I thought I would bestow upon the little people the opportunity to make a decision on something kind of important. They got to choose the lights for the boardroom, because I'm benevolent. The problem is, while they're really good at choosing excellent lights, and they did, they got exactly the perfect lights for the boardroom. They're not so good at budgeting. While we raised 250 bucks, the rat bastard spent, what, 500 and change? Yeah. Because we needed to buy half a dozen lights. They cost like 80 bucks a piece. Really? How many times? Hello? Oh my god. He's fired. Alright, so this is one of the sexy new lights. This is what they look like. They're pretty awesome. It's nothing extravagant. I mean, it's. 80 bucks for a professional lighting picture is actually pretty tame. Uh, but yeah, they look like this on the end, instead of just the generic white box. They, they're like, they're swoopy. It looks kind of like a light bar for an Art Deco police car. A cop car out of the old Batman, maybe, could have this. A steampunk car. A steampunk cop car. Do we have to do it? I might, I might have to do that. We also had some pretty strict parameters for the lights. Yeah, yeah, they have to be Lithonia, they have to be electronic panels, they have to be T8, there's, there's rules involved. But that's the new lights, and they're awesome. So thank you to the IRC for being able to pick up good lights, even if you guys can't add. So, what else do we have? From Blue Cell World. I don't mind if you're going to open the mail ahead of me to check for, you know, drugs that you won't share, or kittens or whatnot, but just leave the tape on. Oh, hey, these are handy. We've got RCA to BNC adapters. That's cool. Thank you. I'll bet these are more RCA to BNC adapters. No! These are for me. I ordered these. I only ordered two? Yes. I really thought I ordered more than that. Okay, these are VGA gender changers that will allow the Linux machine and the Macintosh to go on the live stream from the Captain's Command Console. Somebody's got a sense of humor. The name on it is the, uh, the fake French spelling of Bowden that I gave to the reporter. You aren't using your cutting mat. Huh? You didn't use the cutting mat. I had to move it because of the light. Who sent this? Who sent this? It's a Gerber razor knife. Gerber Industrial. That is a very aptly timed thing to send in. I'm using my Gerber to open my Gerber. That's pretty badass. All right, let's check it out. We'll, we'll test this. I'm going to put my artifact in my pocket as a backup, though, just, just for safety. This is from Top Shop. It's got your name on it. Ooh. Just got a, a Gerber Industrial. Ooh. 
I had it. Oh, you can't pinch it there. Oh, I like it. Mm. I like it a lot. Oh, these are more adapters. Excellent. We can never have enough adapters of any type. Do you want me to put those on the wish list? No, we'll just let people pick them up. I trust people. People are good. There's some good blood. Oh! I did order three. I thought I ordered. Why would you do I don't even want to. I don't even pretend to understand the magic and mystery that is Amazon. This one's heavy. Uh oh. It's that same weird French spelling of my name. <laughs> Somebody thought ahead. Hey, Batman. Yeah. You need to mount this right here. All right, mate. Does the note say who it's from? No, the note doesn't say who it's from. Mm -hmm. But whoever they are, I like their sense of humor. Thank you. And because this is just so damn awesome. I think it's going to live on the viewer mail set. This will be my dedicated viewer mail set knife. I don't know though, because I can see using the shit out of that. Well, I'm the only one around here that doesn't have a big blade. Like everybody else carries one with the you know utility blade knife. But this Oh yeah. Other way. You sure? No, no, it goes this way. It goes it goes this way. There's a slot. And there's an arrow that says push blade, use caution. Cut. You got to open it first. You push it down like that. You should just slide it. Yeah, so we mounted on this side. Right. Thank you. Okay. That's a Batman problem. Right? A letter from Wax. Still using the Christmas labels. Ooh, it's a letter with, with stuff in it. Dear Moose, this is for you. You want me to read it or you want to read it? You can read it. Enclosed, please find two checks. One is for Danny Wax's membership and the other is for a pledge he made for the electric bill. Thank you for your time and understanding. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Chris Wax Monster. P.S. Captain Chris Bowden, great job, thanks. Thank you, sir. That's, man, that's just kick-ass. I'm going to put that on the wall. Checks go to Moose. <coughs> that, that mat works out pretty. It's upside down. Submarines. Mr. Meerman, how can I help you, sir? I'm all right. I'm, I'm in the middle of your meal at the moment. Can I call you back in five minutes? Okay, I'll give you a call back in like five minutes. Thank you, sir. And you're the professional. Mr. Meerman calls me. I answer. I don't care what's happening. He's been my friend since fifth grade. He calls. I answer. What's next? Ooh, Pali Viola. Royal Mail. You have to guess it. Bulky, really light, kind of rattles. It's either cookie or helicopter. One or the other. It's either cookies or helicopter parts. I think it's helicopter. Or Lego. No, Lego's a way more delicate. Lego. It's totally helicopter. Don't touch the rotating's propeller. Don't operate it on people's head. Please operate it under the instruction of the adults. I cannot write this shit. <laughs> I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I totally would. That would be my helicopter shirt. I need, there needs to be a geek group helicopter t-shirt 
We should have Geek Group Helicopter t Team t-shirts. Check this out. You gotta, you gotta see this. The capitalization is awesome. It's just, it's just too perfect. I don't know who sent this. It didn't say. You guys gotta let me know who sent stuff. I, it's very important that I get to thank people. I like thanking people for stuff. Oh, they put a note in here. It's from Robin, the London Rascal. It's not often I meet somebody with a cooler nickname than mine. The London Rascal. Something for viewer mail that I trust you will find useful. Not long before you bought the first helicopter that began your addiction into these flying machines last Christmas, I had treated myself to what turned out to be a very basic, rather rubbish, but cheap helicopter as my to-myself to Christmas gift. It did not make it to the new year, alas, but I was just going to hang up my transmitter for the last time you began on a far larger scale type, though of the same design. And they're moved on to many varied types and all sizes. I, too, went on Amazon and found a very reasonably priced V911 after seeing yours, and what a good little machine they are. Long story short, as a requisite to any helicopter enthusiast, one must obtain many spare parts, but sadly, as you well know, they certainly take their time getting to us from China. I have ordered a bunch of replacements, but as seeing as you recently spoke of your V911's motors maybe not being as fresh as once were, here's a brand new hardly used one. I, I have, however, taken the fly bar off to replace the broken one on my other. So if you have one in stock, you're ready to fly with a fresh out of the box V911. I actually do. He says, happy flying from Robin, the London Rascal. That is so good. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. And not only is this a V911, which I have a couple of, this is a V911 in a totally different color scheme. I don't even think they sell this in the U.S. This is really different. This might be a version 1 or something, because the shape of the canopy is totally different. Um, you got dangly bits. Oh, the dangly bits are okay. That's 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 because he took the fly bar off. It's got a longer... Let, let's compare this. Let's take a look over here. No, it's the same shape. It's just a totally different color scheme. So they look um, different. They're 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 different. His his doesn't have all the bangs and dents that mine does. But yeah. That's really this is this is what happens before you beat the shit out of them. And I totally have fly bars in stock. You can see there's a fly bar right there. That's this part here is the fly bar. So I can replace that easily, and I will get this flying in the next day or two, sir. You'll get to see it in the blog. Thank you, Robin. That is awesome. Um, excellent. Day with new helicopters. What else is in here? Is there any other bits and pieces? Nope. Everything's cool. Bonus points for the electrical tape packing job. That's way better than the way they normally come packed. That's it. We start with lights, we end up with a helicopter, and along the way we get to play with sharp objects. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys very much. That's viewer mail for the day. We'll be back in mere moments to bring you more love and sunshine. Batman? Yeah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> cool. Tour. I think that's from flapping. We have more. Right? Uh, you you got one I sander, might, you might. got one sanding belt. Why would you need more than that? That one's not even used. I know, I just put it in. Yeah. You're kind of weird. You're kind of weird. It's called a craft. Oh. I'm dedicated to my craft. That's what they're calling that. Yes. Okay. You're not using it like a blanket or... It exfoliates, man. The things your imagination comes up with are rather... Well, you better. said bigger than your bed, and I was like... It's bigger than my bed. I didn't know how else to describe it. It's, it's bigger than that flag. It's big. I wish I had the standard that it went to. Yeah. 
which is the size of a paper machine. It's from a paper machine. To this day, I still have a surplus of industrial paper making related paraphernalia. I'll go with you if we can stop by the hobby shop. <laughs> they're, they're right on the same street. It's totally loud. You know what else is on the same street? What? Burritos. Yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> Are you saying we're having burritos for lunch? No, I have stuff to do today. Oh. You two could do that. I don't even need to go, but you got to pick me up something at the hobby shop. I wasn't going today. Any, to any blade bind and fly helicopter with a torque tube. Any, anything that doesn't have a tail motor, I'm interested. I probably have a little prep trip in my morning tomorrow. Yeah, this should work okay if I stick over here. That's what it looks like this was written with someone kept it. Oh, I know exactly what you used over here. Exactly what happened. That's maple dust. In the middle is the ability to fly with That's right, work it. Work it. Like any good work, working tool, it requires a lot of fussing. Control. Thank you, Batman. Found this in the office. Okay. Take it. to being down in the MDH where Moose is playing with that damn laser cutter burning wood and it's just I'm having sneezing fits every time you look at it. 
So Batman's got goodies. We got some nifty welding wire coming in. And I'll show you all that in a minute here. Hi. Provided Moose doesn't kill us all. How you doing with the sneezing fit generator? <laughs> We're trying an updated version of the software. How's that working out? It's still down. Okay. Cool. Take a look at this. Moose! Hi! It's 1736 hours. You made holes! One pass. They're still not circles. Well, I, I got bored with the circles. I switched over to hearts. Oh, okay. Uh, circle. circle! Can I have it? Sure. Can I keep it? You may keep it. Okay. I got a circle! Make you happy. I got a circle. And you're doing stuff. Yeah. I'm I just... love this trick. I know. Look at that. It just, it magically comes out the other side. And that's how you get rid of the burn marks on laser cut. Topics. Ah, you sand it down. It's still got burn marks on uh, I'm being gentle. Oh, okay. So we fixed our laser problem. Yay. So what was the laser problem? Uh, updated the software. Okay. So we were using software that was six years old. Oh, okay. That, that explains it. That looks way nicer now. Look at that. That's yeah. pretty. You're cool. Like, it didn't go much deeper than that, but I was doing a depth test. Okay. But, I mean... What's with the wonky hearts? Uh... I'm assuming that was supposed to be a heart, and not like... It came out exactly... A as shark. I, <laughs> it came Maybe out exactly as I drew it. Kind of dopey shark. Call it... Dopey shark. Stylized, if you really want to... I'm going to call it a gay shark. A gay, what it, dopey what it shark. Really if, is was if, I. If Mark was a shark, that's what his fin would look like. I grabbed the. And there'd be a rainbow right here. The soft line tool and just went. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, oh, hey, okay. look, that's a heart. Mm. I got sick of drawing circles. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you made a circle. I did in one pass. Moose's circle. This was four passes, and it still didn't go through. This is a circle. This is the inner circle. So I fixed it. According to the internet yesterday, I was quite incompetent. <laughs> well, I get that every day, so it's nice that you have a chance. <coughs> I want to play with your. I want to. I want to play with the circle. Bird's eye circle. Here, watch this. Bird's eye circle. All right, you ready? One, two. Bah! That's magic right there. Magic. That's magic right there. How'd you get that sound effect Look at that. hitting the ground? Shut <laughs> up. That was hard. That's foley. That's movie magic. It's a trick that requires carpet. Music. Yeah, it's a trick that requires carpet. You got my coat. Thank yeah. you, sir. In our yeah. left pocket. We'll be back. All right, guys. It is now 1745 hours on Thursday, March 6, 2014. And it's done. Thanks to Aaron and his team. Aaron's been in charge of this project. What's left? Uh, vacuum up water. Let it just dry for like two or three days. Just and then just clean machine. the floor. Yep. But yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. There's you'll see some some dingy spots on the wall, but that stuff just won't blast off, which means it paint will stick to it just fine. But you can see all the way around the room. It's clean once again. This is the high voltage lab strip to clean slate. <laughs> oh god, and I'm an allergy now. All right. Oh, Good job, Aaron. Excellent work, sir. Thank you. You you have kicked huge ass and I am exceedingly proud of you. Thank you. That's cool. Better than this blue and orange poop crap. Well, it's going to be white and then white, gray, and blue. That's the plan. It's coming real soon now.